What if we could hijack our brains and give humans extra senses? Well, it might actually be possible with brand new technology like this wristband, which lets you hear sound through the skin on your arm, which might sound a little bit weird, but it's part of a new movement where people are trying to change the way that you perceive reality. A microphone on the device picks up sound and causes four pads on the wrist strap to vibrate in specific ways. The vibrations are picked up by the skin and your brain can then learn to interpret them almost as if they were sounds being detected by your ears. It can be so precise that totally deaf people can identify 95% of what is making a sound and they can even distinguish between words as similar as house and mouse. This is done instantly, by the way, totally unconsciously. This device is just one example though. There are other devices in the works that are exploring the idea of expanding human senses, even to the point of being able to directly communicate with the International Space Station itself, or even feel the health of a patient during an operation. Which all sounds like something straight out of a Black Mirror episode, and I'll get to all of those wild ideas, but I've been making videos about technology on TikTok for over a year now, and this is by far one of the coolest concepts I've come across. So I need to know, how far can we take it? And actually before that, how does it even work? Well, to answer that, you need to understand how senses work. Our brains live their whole lives in darkness. All senses are basically the same thing. Something stimulates a receptor, which sends signals to the brain. Then the brain interprets the signals and it gives you a perception of what they are. So everything your brain perceives is simply just signals that are sent to it from some receptor. It really doesn't care where those signals come from. And to understand it a bit further, you can think of those receptors almost like the peripherals or attachments of your computer. Like, think of your brain as your computer, and plugged into it are a mouse, which is kind of like your sense of touch, a microphone, which is kind of like your ears, and maybe a webcam, which is kind of like your eyes. They're all just plug and play devices that your brain figures out how to use, just like a computer. But if you look around the animal kingdom, our human set of attachments are not all that's available. <clears throat> Sharks can sense electric fields to hunt prey. Insects have antennae for sensing smell and heat. Bats can detect magnetic fields, and along with whales, they use echolocation. Then there's whiskers, forked tongues, tubes for chemicals called rhinophores. Some animals see infrared and ultraviolet light. Some have a type of third eye. You get the idea. There are a lot of sense attachments out there in the world. So what if we could make attachments that have those abilities and then plug them into our human brains? We'd basically be giving ourselves superpowers. To be on alpha. I'm Leon Beta. Which sounds a little bit like a pipe dream, but it's not actually a crazy idea because our brains are weirdly flexible and have an incredible ability to be rewired. Some people, like taxi drivers and musicians, have parts of their brains that can become more specialized because of what they do in life. And if a part of the brain that deals with one sense gets injured, other senses can be boosted through rewiring of neurons and even by hijacking the part of the brain that handles that damaged sense. One of the most well-known examples of this is where some blind people have even been able to teach themselves to echolocate by clicking their tongues or canes. And it's to such a level that they can even identify specific objects. Well, there's a fire hydrant on the side and a car on this side. That's a trash can or a recycling bin, one of those. Apparently though, this is actually a skill that non-blind people can learn too, but just to a small degree. So if you want to see a video like that on this channel, drop a like and leave a little echolocating whale down in the comments. So because of all this built-in flexibility of human brains, people started experimenting to see how we could hijack it. Experiments started way back in the 60s, and since then different senses and body parts have been tested, giving people a sense of things from magnetic fields all the way to sensing the emotions of distant loved ones. But by far the most advanced ideas are this wrist strap and a vest that have both been developed by David Eagleman and his team. The wrist strap has a whole load of developers who are creating a massive range of devices that can detect things that humans can't, like infrared and UV light, echolocation, and even where satellites are. And then these devices can be linked up to the wrist strap and then train the brain to interpret the signals as new sensors. Which is extremely cool, but the vest might even be a little bit cooler. And I'm wearing the vest right now. So as I'm speaking, the sound is getting translated into dynamic 
patterns of vibration. I'm feeling the sonic world around me. It's covered in similar tactile feedback devices that the wrist strap has. It's basically like the wrist strap, but covering your entire body. So it can be used for even more complex sensory inputs. You don't need a destination when you're running on an omnidirectional treadmill with quadraphonic pressure sensitive underlay. It could be used for things like VR, sure, but some other ideas are completely wild. Like drone pilots being able to feel the air moving over the drone that they're flying which would turn them into better pilots because they could just react instantly to the environment. Or we could feel the information from the inside of an aeroplane cockpit or feel the health of the International Space Station completely unconsciously instead of trying to read all of those little dials. Both of these ideas would open up the human brain to the modern world's massive amounts of information, where instead of accessing it, we could experience it on a whole other level. And then there's even the idea of feeling the status of a patient that you're operating on. And this would let doctors intuitively know if something's going wrong and how they need to respond to it. And these are just a few ideas, but they would all give you abilities that humans couldn't even imagine just a few years ago. The idea might sound a little bit freaky, but honestly, the whole thing would be like the modern equivalent of something that we created that changed human memory forever a long time ago. Books. When writing and books were invented, they instantly changed the way that knowledge could be stored and then passed on, which changed our perception of the entire world and what was possible. So imagine if we could change our sensory perception of the world. What would it look like? And what sense would you want to add to your body? As we're thinking about the future of human augmentation, this is just one small part though. To really understand what future humans could look like with technology merging with bodies, you need the bigger picture. And for that, you need to watch this video right here, where I looked at the future of human bionics.